You're watching another great catfishing video from Learn to Catch Catfish with your host, professional guide, Chad Ferguson. Catfishing TV covers tips, tricks, and information to help you learn how to catch more and bigger catfish on your next fishing trip. The ultimate resource available for expert catfishing information. After watching, make sure you visit learntocatchcatfish.com. Now, here's your host, Chad Ferguson. Hey, this is Chad Ferguson, learntocatchcatfish.com. I want to talk a little bit today about the slip sinker rig, or uh, bass fishermen often refer this to, it, to this as a Carolina rig. Cat fishermen usually call it a slip sinker rig. Not going to go so much into how to tie this rig, uh, but more into um, how to use it and some of the popular applications for this type of uh, catfish rig. Um, you can go to learntocatchcatfish.com go up to catfishing how to at the top and click on catfish rigs and you can find detailed information step-by-step -step instructions on how to tie all the different catfish rigs that we cover um, the slip sinker rig basically consists the main line coming down from the fishing rod with an egg sinker or a no roll sinker on it and a swivel below that and then a leader with a hook attached to that leader and again, the slip sinker rig. Now, <clears throat> the benefit of fishing with this, with a no roll or egg sinker, which are really essentially the same thing, a no roll sinker is flat and an egg sinker is round, um, but both sinkers have a hole um, through the middle of them. It's a sliding sinker, which allows the main line to move up and down the sinker. Um, so what this does is this weight sits here on the bottom of the lake or river that you're going to fish on uh, and the leader is allowed some movement. So if you're fishing with live bait, um, you know, that bait can move around some because this anchor or the weight is going to stay here and the bait can, can move around and swim around. Um, and also, um, you know, with the current, even with like cut bait, with current and, and the movement there that's going on on the bottom of the lake, it gives that bait the ability to move around some. You can fish this catfish rig um, with the reel engaged <coughs> in, <coughs> excuse me, in a rod holder or um, you know, with a circle hook. Um, but one of the more popular applications and, and really the reason this rig is tied like this is to fish with a bait clicker. Um, so you engage the bait clicker on the fishing reel and push the button in uh, which leaves the reel disengaged so that the reel is able to move in free spool. And what that does is when a fish comes along and grabs that bait here, that's a horrible fish, but uh, he comes along and takes that bait and pulls on that line because that bait clicker is engaged, he can run with this bait and pull additional line through that sinker. This sinker is going to stay, you know, relatively the same place. Obviously, if it pulls real hard or it's a really big fish, it's going to move. But that line can move through that sinker, um, which minimizes the amount of resistance that the fish feels whenever he strikes. Obviously, if he grabs it and runs sideways, the weight's going to drag on the bottom, whatever the case may be. But that's really the way that a slip sinker rig is designed to fish. Now I fish these catfish rigs a lot with circle hooks um, with the reel engaged. Um, they will work like that. I fish them with kale hooks and uh, just holding the rod and setting the hook like that. Um, really as, as far as just all around general purpose catfish rigs, this is one of the go-to rigs for fishing for catfish. And uh, again, you can get detailed instructions on how to tie this through learntocatchcatfish.com. Basically, what you're going to do is just take your main line, you're going to add an egg sinker or a no roll sinker, slide that main line through it, tie on a barrel swivel, cut you a piece of leader line, 40 or 50 pound, pound test monofilament, and then add your hook to the end of that leader line. Now, one of the questions that I get all the time uh, from different catfish anglers through the website 
and through my guide clients is how long to make this leader line. Um, you know, there is no magic bullet and it's something that you just have to, experience, to experiment with. See what works best for you and the body of water that you're fishing. I would say on average, I make my leaders about 12 to 16 inches long. Um, you know, the shorter you make them, the less movement you're gonna have of that bait in the water. The longer they are, the more action there's gonna be, especially with fishing with live bait. 12 to 14 inches, maybe 16 inches is a good all round number for the length of that leader. Get a lot of questions as well about sinkers and what size sinkers to use. Um, I generally will fish with an ounce and a half to two ounces of weight uh, across the board. And a lot of people will say, you know, that that's too much weight. A lot of people say that's not enough. Um, I fish primarily in lakes. I don't do a lot of river fishing with heavy current. I do fish in rivers, but not a lot of river fishing with heavy current. So I don't need a whole lot of weight. But even for channel catfish, I will use that ounce and a half to two ounce weight. I prefer no rolls over egg sinkers. Um, but uh, I, I like to have a little bit more weight than most people because when I throw that bait out there, I want it to stay where I put it. And I like to be able to pull against that weight and keep that line real good and tight. And when I get into these little bitty small quarter ounce, eighth ounce, half ounce, three quarter ounce egg sinkers, I can't do that. So that's why I like a bigger sinker. Um, again, this is called a slip sinker rig. Go to learntocatchcatfish.com if you're not already there. And you can type in slip sinker rig, it'll come up. You can get step-by-step -step instructions and a lot more information on this catfish rig. Once you're done watching this video, go down below and leave us a comment. If you have questions, let us know. And until then, go to learntocatchcatfish.com to get some more great catfishing tips and tricks.